all carry-on items should now be stowed securely, either in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. All aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas should now be clear. All electronic devices should now be turned off and stowed as they may interfere with the aircraft's navigational and communication systems. Once airborne, we'll let you know when you may use approved electronic devices, but note that some items may not be used at any time during the flight. You'll find a list of approved devices in the in-flight information section of Sky Magazine. If you're seated in an emergency exit, please review the responsibilities for emergency exit seating on the back of the safety information card located in the seat pocket in front of you. Who do we got? Oh, nobody. Oh, someone's over here. Oh, I didn't even know anyone was here. There he is. There. There he is. Good morning. The what do you got? This this video is sponsored by Simply Orange. Sponsored by Orange Juice. Good morning. Welcome back. It's a new day. It's a new morning. I was I was the ice fishing adventure. Good. I'm still recovering from the cold of northern Manitoba. Yeah. How's it been for you? Oh, I mean, I'm killing the game in Nebraska, doing a lot of n nothing, no fishing. Doing some grilling? I Gr saw that. I took a grill out on the ice. <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> That's about it. Yeah. I was jealous. I need a grill on the ice. Uh, you can have mine, honestly, because <laughs> it is completely trashed. I don't want it anymore. Where's Gary? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, oh, Gary. But as you guys can see, I am back at the MTB crib, and, you know, we're here for the week. I'm here for the week. John's coming in. Eric's here, Sam's here, uh, Rob's here, everybody's, Jake, or less, uh, Justin's coming in, like poor guy, he's coming in town, and uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. But what I came here for, more importantly, is this, I gotta figure out where, there it is, right here. Boom. What do you think about this box? I think it's sexy like me. Why aren't you wearing pants? Well, unfortunately I stayed in the Arctic Tundra for five years, and I have no pants that are clean. So I might go pick up Rob in this. Good. Yes, but this is what I came for. The mystery tackle box for the month of February. You guys have not seen this thing yet. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something. No, I wouldn't say different because I have done this before, but you guys really did enjoy it. You guys enjoyed it a lot. I got tons of positive feedback. So what I'm gonna do instead of taking that fishing, I am going to unbox it rather quickly, show you guys what all the awesome baits that came in it, and then I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. You guys know I have plenty of fishing lures, I don't need any more fishing lures. And you guys, I would love to help you guys out, give you guys some bait. So, MTB is going to be hooking it up. This video is brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box as we are in the Mystery Tackle Box house. If you guys want to try Mystery Tackle Box out for yourself for the very first time, use promo code GUGAN and you get $10 off your very first box. I'm gonna, I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out. But we're going to do a, a quick, rapid fit paste unboxing and uh, you guys can see it. And then all you got to do to be entered is drop a comment down below. What you have to comment in this video is what fish species you want me to go after next. What do you want me to target no matter where it is in the country or on the entire planet? What do you, what do you think? If you were, if you were going to put a comment, what would you say? My comment would be that's the same comment you always say to ask. Uh huh. Uh huh. I say, where should I go? Oh, and what should I do? Species. It's different. You got it. But I would put GTs because you still never caught them. Oh, yeah, I do need to go for a GT. Still need to catch a GT, but all right, let's uh, let's get into the box. This is where the unboxing is gonna happen. You guys, Perk still has his trampoline. No one knows why we have a trampoline, but we have it, so we're gonna do the unboxing right here. Well, you guys are gonna have to deal with the bad lighting, but right here, Mr. Tackbox, we're gonna open her up real quick, see what kind of goods we got inside that one of you guys watching might win. Here we go. We got a Berkley Cutter 110 Plus. This is a little jerk bait, see? Jerk baits. I'm actually going to be tying this into this video, which is going to be talking about my top five favorite spring lures. I'm going to go to Bass Pro and do that. And then I'm also, so you guys are going to get two giveaways in this video. You're going to have to stay tuned to the very end of this video to figure out how to win the Bass Pro Shops shopping experience giveaway. But this one is going to be the MTB giveaway. So here we go. Got a little jerk bait, one of my all time favorite spring baits. You guys will find that out later. We also got some uh, power spinners. Right here, you guys, you guys can tie these into any soft plastic, stuff like that. Give it a little extra flash. Then, we got the Zorro uh, Bait Company. It's a little jig. Looks like a little swim jig action. Perfect, again. Springtime, swim jigs are key. We got a uh, Venrig. Never even heard of that. With, um, so it's like a little, little jig head with some craws. So instead of like Ned rigging like a little worm, you Venrig some craws. So a little bit more finesse presentation. Um, there's that. Then we got some uh, wacky rig drop shot hooks, the stickies, the very sticky sharp ones. 
Then we've got, what do we got? Color changing. You guys, if you haven't watched the Guggen video, you guys should. I caught a toad on this as a trailer on a jig. It's just like a little little goby bait. Pretty sick stuff. Changes colors in the water. I don't understand it, but the bass obviously like it. Then we got a little exo stick action. Perfect for that wacky rig, the drop shot hooks. I also was throwing this in that Guggen video. You guys should go check it out again. And what else do we got? We got a Vacara 62 lipless. Lipless crankbait, right there. Yeah. So again, I'm not gonna. I don't. I'm trying not to give away too much of the rest of this video, but a lot of what you guys just saw are gonna be my top picks for for springtime fishing. You got the little sticker here, and then uh, your information on your Dibbles Digest. What's in the box? That's pretty much it. So again, if you guys want to try that out for yourself and get ten dollars off your first box, use code Guggen. It'll be linked down below. You guys check it out. Um, I'm not sure what else we have planned today. I don't know if we're going to be fishing or not. We got to go pick up the camera guy, Wes, and Lunkers TV, and I got to go to Bass Pro Shops, and uh, it's going to rain, and we got to do podcasts. A lot of busy, busy stuff to do today, but I'm going to take you guys along with me because uh, why not? Bye. Have, have fun. Well, Eric dropped me off at uh, wonderful Bass Pro Shops. I got to film the rest of this video, which today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite spring fishing lures. This is like a tradition. I don't know if you guys are getting tired of this, but it's like a tradition for me every year to do, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter baits. And I'm gonna try to change it up a little bit, but what I do in these videos is after I purchase everything, I don't just buy five lures. I usually buy like a couple of each, couple variations, couple different colors. But then at the very end of this video, I'm gonna give away everything that I buy because I like giving back to you guys. The reason why I'm able to do what I do for a living is because of you guys. So I try to give back as much as possible, which is why I'm giving away my mystery tackle box. Again, shout out to MTB for hooking that up. And then I'm also gonna be giving away all the baits that I buy today from Bass Pro Shops. It, it, today's just a cluster right now. We just got breakfast, I didn't vlog that. Rob landed in the airport, camera guy Wes landed. He's actually back at the Guggen house. John's not coming in today. Rackley's down selling a house or something. So I basically told Perrick, Perrick, drop me off of Bass Pro and I'm gonna go film a video for you guys and hopefully give you guys tips. That's the other thing I'm gonna try to do a little bit more is give you guys more tips in videos. Not just catch fish and slam grills on the ground and break stuff. I'm gonna try to give you guys tips. So today we'll probably be filled with some tips. I don't know if they're open. They open at 10 a.m. 20 minutes. What am I gonna do for uh, 20 minutes? I don't know. Oh yeah, look at those guys. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky it's not duck season, buddy. You and your girlfriend, well, well just you. I just, I just shoot you, I leave, I leave her, but you're lucky it's not duck season. We're in business, ladies and gentlemen, it's 10 o'clock. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in the store and uh, I gotta figure out what my top five favorites bass fishing lures are for the spring. So this is how I'm going to structure Like I said, I'm going to make this somewhat useful to you guys and not just a random vlog. I'm going to start with like the coldest water, like basically ice out, all the way up until like spawning because that's still technically spring. So when the ice just thaws, it just gets, gets thawed out, I've, I have one bait and I, I kind of I hinted at it earlier. I've got one bait that comes to mind right at ice out as an absolute killer. Uh, I just got to figure out where it is in this store. I'm not super used to this Bass Pro, but uh, I'll find it here in a second. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is called a jerk bait, the classic, the staple. We got the jerk and stick. So we're going to get a few different ones for you guys. I think this is like pro blue color. That's a, that's a good one, but I, I want the shallow one. So we're going to, let's see here, what do we got? Grab one of these guys for you. Let's go with, we'll go with like, a, like if you're fishing some clear water, this one will work for you real, real nice. And then pro blue because I'm gonna get a few different colors so we got pro blue and then like a shad color I, uh, I'll be nice to you guys I'll, I'll be nice we'll get a third one um, let's get a gold let's find some find some gold actually some of the little flash that one's wow these are ten dollars a piece okay all right well got a little flash action there we're gonna go with that one so that's what I use right at ice out basically ice out pretty self-explanatory ice melts that's the first bait that I throw. I've got three of these for you guys now, so whoever wins this, you, you should be covered as far as water clarity goes. You wanna be throwing this stuff in, in clear water. Uh, that's, that's usually my go-to. So once the water starts to get a little bit warmer than that, I still like to stick to hard baits and like to go to this guy right here. Once that water's like in the 40s, 50s, lipless crankbait. It is, it's an absolute killer. So we're gonna get a few different ones. This one, hands down, favorite color, just any type of red, not this one in particular, but this one, red in the spring, I don't care if there's crawfish in your lakes or not. This guy works really well. So we're gonna get this guy right there. That's another one. Gold, that's, is that a big one? Is that a three quarter? Yeah, that's a three quarter. We're gonna give you a big dog. So you got a smaller to red, big, big gold. Gold's good. And then just like your classic sexy shad, uh, that's my other, my other favorite. I actually like this one a lot. 
It's like got a little hint of chartreuse in it. Not sure if that matters, but we're gonna get that. So apparently I'm just gonna get three of everything. And just to be clear, two different winners. Someone's gonna win the mystery tackle box. Someone is gonna win this package of all these baits. So I'll explain how you win this one at the end. Another good one is a spinner bait, but you guys know me. I'm not a giant spinnerbait guy, more of a chatterbait guy. We gotta find that. Jigs, chatterbaits right here. Here we go. Here's the wall. Here's the wall everybody's looking for. We got chatterbaits. Different some different brands. I don't think a brand's a huge big huge deal, but these guys, these guys tend to catch some fish. For chatterbaits, I keep things super duper duper simple. So we're gonna go, let's do three eighths. That's my go-to. So we're gonna do a black and blue. That's that's for dirty water. So if you guys win this and you have dirty water, this is the one you want. And then I like this. White and chartreuse, I don't know why, but bass, pike, everybody likes it. And then in the spring, my all-time go-to is this guy right here. This is a bluegill color. Bluegill in the spring works so stinking well because bass do not like the fish on their beds. And uh, they don't like bluegills on their beds and this imitates that. So there you go, a little chatterbait. And then over here, so we got, we have three done. So we got jerk baits, lipless, chatterbaits. Those are, those are pretty, pretty good ones. You know, in the spring, I throw way more than five baits, but these are like, if I only had five, only had five lures to choose to go fishing in somewhere in the spring between April to let's say June or so, these are the baits I would use. So we gotta find, gotta find the fourth one. The fourth one is a very important one, very important. Right there, fourth one, jig. Uh, good colors are the browns, the oranges, the the black and blue. So we're gonna go with this guy, three eighths. Nah, well, let's go with a half. I think a half might be might be better for you guys. Maybe better all around. That's a good color. We'll go with. We'll go with that color there. There we go, black and blue, that's that's crucial. And then this color is actually one of my favorite colors. It's like a summer crawl color, works really well. So that's that's four, that's four of the five. So you might be thinking, Fleur, what, what else? What else you got? There's there's a trillion baits here. What what, what would be your final go-to? Now this, why was that so loud? This is my, if I could only have one lure to catch fish with, like it doesn't matter how big they are, just one 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 lure, this, what I'm about to pick up right now, is is what it, what it would be. I gotta find out where it is. Sometimes they like to hide these things, but I'll find them. Bam, right there, baby. That's what we're going, you guys You guys should have already known this. This is, this is where I'm gonna go to here. And uh, as far as color goes, if I could only have one, it would be green pumpkin. This is, if you guys know what this is, little TRDs. They catch a ton of fish, not usually big ones, but they catch a lot of fish. We're gonna get these. We also gotta get hooks. As well as, I'm not gonna give you guys uh, chatter baits and jigs without trailers, so I'm gonna go buy some trailers too for ya, uh, and, and kinda show you what I, what I like to do for that. But we gotta go find, we gotta go find the jig. Let's actually, we're gonna hold off on the Nedrig jig heads. We're gonna find jig trailers and chatterbait trailers. Those are two completely separate things, and I'll show you what my favorites are for each. Here we go, right here. Right here, this is my favorite jig trailer. I like this guy just year round, tends to work well in the spring. Little rage craw action. Watermelon actually will work on any of the, the jigs that I got the black and blues, the green pumpkins, the summer craws, the orange. This, this color trailer actually works for all that stuff. So you don't need to buy black and blues and all that other stuff. This will work just fine. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. So for chatterbait trailers, somewhere down in, somewhere, hey, let's use these. I don't really use these actually that often, but these will, these will work. Um, and I'll probably get a couple different colors because white doesn't usually work with, um, with green. So, so for that white and chartreuse chatterbait, these guys, that'll work. For the black and blue and green pumpkin chatterbait, this guy right here. Well, just a green pumpkin. That'll work, that'll work just fine. So now we have jerkbaits lipless, then we have chatterbaits and trailers, and then we have jigs and trailers, and then a Ned Rig. Now we just need a Ned Rig jig head. And you guys are pretty much ready to go. You have three of everything. Whoever gets this will pretty much be set up for, for springtime fishing. You guys should be able to catch catch lots of fish on these baits. We gotta find the um gotta find the jig heads and then that's pretty much it. I find that the, the one sixth ounce, that's a good all around size. We'll go with Look at that. I like to go heavier than too light because if it's windy or something, fishing deep, then uh, that light one won't work. But these, I mean, they bite it on the bottom, so it doesn't really matter how heavy it is. We'll go with that right there. Well, it's gonna be 101.25. Wow, I did not intend to spend $100 today, but uh, yeah, that's, I guess that's it. That's what happens when you buy three of everything. But again, it's going to do towards a good cause. When you, when you lucky fellas are gonna win. I got an Uber. I get an Uber back to the Guggen house because uh, Perrick and I don't know what everybody's doing, but I'm gonna take an Uber, second Uber of the day for the last hour, second Uber. I'm gonna Uber back to the house and then I'll probably probably wrap up this video, maybe feed Gary, maybe maybe do some fun stuff like that. I don't know what else we have planned today, but I'll, I'll take you guys along with me. A few moments later. We have this garage. We got Perrick's boat. We got some, some free range coffee. Perrick, what did he do to this 
this boat is absolutely destroyed. I have not seen this boat in a while. Then also we got total mess down there. Two kayaks, which I'm pretty sure this one has a hole in it. And that one barely floats. Wow, this garage is an absolute freaking mess. Where did he take it where it got so dang muddy? Well, if you guys were wondering what the, the Guggen Squad garage looks like. And this is this is John's, this is Perrick's, and mine, I don't, I don't have much here. But as you can see, I am back at the house, and I'm going to end the video here. Now, I know I told you guys I was probably, maybe, possibly going to take you along with me throughout the day, but I just don't know what my plans are. And I, I feel like this video is definitely long enough for you guys. Definitely long enough. Uh, and if I do anything interesting, I will make a second video today. But that was today's episode. I know it wasn't the most interesting thing on on earth you know I I didn't catch any fish didn't didn't go fishing you guys haven't seen me go fishing in a little while I, I went fishing like three times in Nebraska and did not catch anything anything worth showing I caught some bluegills which I didn't want to make another bluegill video so that's why I'm here I'm in Texas Abs absolutely blue beautiful absolutely beautiful out here and uh, we're hopefully gonna catch some fish either later today or sometime on this week so stay tuned and then I might do some bow fishing that might be a thing. Oh, I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you guys how you can win. So remember, to win the MTB giveaway, you have to comment what species I should go after. But to win the Bass Pro Shops Tackle Top 5 Favorite Lures, you guys have to comment what state I will be in next week. Just take a guess. I will, the first person to guess it will win. What state am I gonna be? You can only guess one state. You only get one guess. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you guys any hints. What state will I be in next week? Fishing. I will be fishing. And the first person to guess it wins. Done. Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.